Hi guys, welcome back. It's time for another mini lesson. Today we're gonna work on multi-step word problems and how to break them down. So we're gonna need a piece of paper and our problems. So we're gonna start with the first word problem. We're just gonna read it out loud to you. Sandra read five books, Deacon read six books, and Brianna read seven books. One book was read by all three children, but every other book was different. How many different books did the children read? Oh, there is a lot of information there. So first we need to do five books. six books and seven books. Those are the amount of books that was read all together. Now they said that one book was read by every child, okay? So we're gonna subtract one from each one, okay? So five minus one is four, six minus one is five, and seven minus one is six, okay? Then we're gonna add it up, okay? What I like to do when I add up problems that have more than two denominators is I like to group them into an easy addition number. So four plus five is nine, and then nine plus six equals 15. So knowing that they had each read this many books, but they each read one of the same books. We could do five minus one, six minus one, and seven minus one equals four plus five plus six are all the different books. So how many different books are read in all? 15. Now I did that one really quickly, so let's try doing it a little slower with the next one. In science class, Sarah needed eight test tubes for three different experiments. The first experiment required two test tubes, and the other two experiments required the same number of test tubes. How many test tubes were needed for each of the other two experiments? Okay, so we know we have three different experiments and eight test tubes total. We need to find out how much two of them are worth. So the first thing you need to do is you take the eight and you subtract the two. Because we know that we've used two. So there are six, okay? So we have the six. Now it said the other two experiments required the same number of test tubes. So in order to break something into the same parts, you need to break it in half or divide by two. So six, divided by two would be three. So the first experiment had two test tubes. The other two had three. So if you think about what we're doing, you can quickly break down the word problems into the information you need. Okay, we're gonna try another one. Branson and his sister Beatrice combine their allowances of $7 each. So they each have $7. So we know right now there's going to be two $7. So they could buy a movie for $12. They bought $1 containers of fruit salad with their remaining money and split the containers evenly between them. How many containers of fruit salad did they each get? Okay, well first let's find out how much they have with their allowance. So 7 plus 7 is 14, okay? So then we know that they bought a movie ticket or a movie for $12. So 14 minus 12 is two, okay? If they had a container of fruit salad at $1, how many containers they could they get? So what is two divided by one? The answer is two. They could each have one container of fruit salad. So that time I just broke it down into each individual part and I did it in order. Let's see if we can do that on the next one. 
Before Cam broke his right arm, he was able to type nine words per minute on his phone. After he broke his arm, he had to use his left hand for a while, and he could only type six words per minute. What is the difference between the number of words he could type in five minutes before and after he broke his arm? Oh, this is an interesting one. So the first thing we need to do is say what the total of five minutes is. So if you can type nine words a minute, and we want to know how many in five, it's nine times five, okay? So nine times five is 45. Now, if we want to do what six times five is, so six times five minutes is 30. Now the difference is just subtracting that from that. So what's the difference? Fifteen. So there was fifteen word differences between a five minute typing session. Kind of cool. He actually types really fast if he's using just his fingers. All right. When Giselle decided, decided to stop eating junk food, she started saving more of her allowance to buy a larger bicycle. She managed to put away $6 every week for eight weeks. So that would be six times eight. So what's that number? If I remember correctly, 36 is six times six, 42, 48, huh? I did do it right in my head. Okay, so it's 48. Sorry, that sometimes Miss Kay has to go back to do her math. And she found a nice used bicycle for $50. She thought that she had close to that amount in her savings jar. Did she have exactly enough for the bicycle? If not, how much extra or how much little, too little did she have? Okay, so she has made $48. The bicycle costs 50. So how much more, because it's not yet 50 and it's not yet past 50, how much more does she need? She needs $2 more. So I quickly put in how much she earned by knowing that we were doing multiplication. All right, last problem. Let's see if we can do this. Annie and Dustin took a beginner's programming course over several weekends that showed them how to make simple video games. Oh, that sounds cool. They spent most of their waking hours engaged in programming tasks and ended up with a game they called Robot Roll Call. How many hours do you think they spent on their course? Hmm, well that's gonna be hard. Annie and Dustin took a beginner's programming course over several weekends that showed them how to make simple video games. They spent most of their waking hours engaged in programming tasks and ended up with a game they called Robo Robot Rope Call. How many hours do you spend did they you do you think they spent on their course? So weekends, we know on the weekend there are 48 hours, okay? Because that's two full days a weekend. So 48 hours. So I'm just going to give you the numbers for this one. And I would probably do this in class because it's a lot to think about. Now, how much sleep do you get a night? Let's say they're kids. So let's say 10 hours. They get 10 hours of sleep a night. They, they would go to bed at 9 o'clock and they would wake up at 7. That sounds fair. Okay. So if they get 10 hours, what's 10 times 2? 10 times 2 is 20. So we're going to do 48 minus 20. Okay. So that would be 28. So 28 hours a weekend. But they said several weekends. Hmm. So Let's make a guess on what we think several is. So I would say it'd be more than two because two is just two weekends. It's more than a couple. So let's say between four or five. So we can do it as five just to make it easier on us. So 28 then times five, okay? So we're just guessing that it's five weekends. 
and we're showing our work. So we know 48, this is two days, 20 is sleeping, okay? Five weekends, okay? So what's eight times five? It's 40. What's five times two? 10, put the 14 in. So 140 hours on their game. That's a lot of hours. I'm sure they had less than that because they had to eat and all that, but this is all the information we were able to gather. So making an estimate in our head about how much sleep they were getting and how many weekends we thought it would take, we were able to get this guess of how many hours we thought their game took to make. Kind of funky. And that one required a lot more thinking. I like that we can think together. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little lesson. Remember, read the information and write out what you know right away when you have a word problem with lots more information. Also find out exactly what you need. The words that are going through, like difference, will tell you that it's subtraction. Uh, the test tubes are needed for each of the other two. So each would be division. Evenly, also division. Difference, subtraction. Does she have enough? We're either going to add or subtract to find out. Those are the, the key words that tell you what you need to do. But remember, when there's multi-steps, you're doing more than one thing. So sometimes you'll have to add first, then divide. Sometimes you'll have to multiply first, then subtract. And everything here will tell you based on how it's broken up. So hopefully you'll be reading more carefully on your word problems now, and we can work on those together. Take care. Bye.